Um, okay, we're on to question number two now in the June 2009 BY1 paper. Uh, this is a question on uh, cell division. Okay, uh, the examiner's uh, drawn a diagram here for us. If I just uh, scroll down, uh, this diagram here is of uh, the cell cycle, basically. Um, part A, he's got... Okay, notice the arrows there, the direction of the cell cycle. I've mentioned that in the notes. Okay, uh, so you've got a rather large section there, uh, which is labelled section A. You should be able to label what section A is, um, which is asked uh, down there. Uh, section B there, that's the uh, section that can be split into uh, different stages. Okay, and the stages are actually drawn out for you uh, in those uh, diagrams. They've got metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and they want, uh, or the examiner wants you to uh, identify uh, stage C. Uh, so let's go on and label these at the moment. Um, so name the stages in the cell cycle labeled A, B, and C. Uh, A is going to be interphase. It's the longest stage of the cell cycle, approximately 23 hours uh, it takes. Uh, part B, or section B, is mitosis, okay, and part C then is the first stage of mitosis, and that would be a uh, prophase, okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, just a, a little uh, tip for you. Uh, for section B there, uh, don't, don't state it as cell division, okay. The reason why is that there are two types of cell division. There's mitosis and uh, meiosis, and uh, this uh, question is quite obviously involved with mitosis. Okay, uh, right. Uh, going on to part B, then uh, the examiner wants you to complete the drawings of the cells in metaphase and anaphase to show how the chromosomes uh, are arranged. So let's scroll up then to metaphase. What uh, the examiner has done there is he's got the spindle fibers uh, in place okay these are the spindle fibers there okay uh, these at the top are the uh, centrioles okay now during metaphase uh, the chromosomes align along the equator uh, in a single file okay um, the other thing is how you arrange those chromosomes along the equator is important. Um, it's all to do with where the uh, centrioles are. So the centrioles uh, in these diagrams um, are top and bottom of the cell there. Okay. So the way to arrange these chromosomes um, is actually, if, if you look at the chromosomes that the examiner has drawn in for you. What you need to do is sort of replicate uh, that chromosome, but put it horizontally along the equator. So imagine, uh, let's change the color of the pen. Um, imagine that, um, the purple line uh, represents the chromosome uh, here. All right. Now I've just drawn it as a as a thick line. Obviously, you would need to draw the uh, sister chromatids in. Okay, including the centromere. That's the centromere over there. Okay. But what I've done is that I've actually rotated the chromosome and li uh, laid it horizontally. Uh, the reason why I've done that is that um, in order for the sister chromatids to separate during anaphase, okay, the chromosome has to lie horizontally here, so uh, the sister chromatids can actually go to the opposite poles. Um, if we were to stand the chromosome up vertically like that, okay, then uh, the chromosome is not aligned correctly to allow the chromatids to go to the poles. Okay, so in this in this metaphase diagram, you actually need to draw two chromosomes lying on their side. Okay, um, with the centromere, uh, with the two sister chromatids. Okay, 
and uh, it perhaps would be a nice idea for you to extend the um, spindle fibers to attach onto the chromosome okay like that um, make sure if you draw the spindle fibers attach into the chromosome that they are attached to the centromere okay the, the chromosomes attach to the spindle fibers via the centromere okay um, so I hope you've uh, understood my uh, little uh, uh, scribbles on that diagram there uh, the basic idea is to redraw out the chromosomes that the examiner has done there lie them on their side and join the spindle fibers uh, to it uh, these diagrams are clearly shown in the notes uh, within the app so if you're not quite sure how those chromosomes are arranged you can have a look at the uh, uh, the notes on that or uh, have a look at the video tutorial uh, on uh, mitosis okay um, another little tip for metaphase okay I've marked papers in the past where students have for some reason decided to draw perhaps three chromosomes in there uh, or even just the one uh, you have to be consistent with what the examiner has drawn he has decided to use two chromosomes therefore you have to draw those two chromosomes um, in that uh, metaphase stage uh, of mitosis okay uh, right let's move on to uh, anaphase then so anaphase is the phase where the spindle fibers contract and shorten and the sister chromatids are being pulled uh, to opposite poles okay um, so let's draw uh, this in in a, a slightly different color okay the idea here is to actually draw a sort of v-shaped structure okay now again I've drawn these diagrams in the notes all right so what's happening now I've just drawn one uh, pair of sister chromatids at the moment you can see that they've been pulled apart and they're being dragged to the opposite poles and that's why the the chromatids have that V shaped appearance it's, it's because they're being dragged uh, or pulled by the spindle fiber which is attached to the uh, centromere okay uh, so I can draw in the the other pair of chromatids uh, again as a v-like structure okay and uh, that would be an acceptable answer there for uh, anaphase okay so um, that's part B uh, two marks uh, for that one okay moving on to part C okay um, you're asked to describe two processes that take place during uh, stage A so if we just scroll up again stage A of course is interphase it's the longest phase of the cell cycle okay and uh, basically there's quite a lot of uh, processes that occur all right but uh, classic examples to put in are uh, protein synthesis uh, or replication of DNA um, the cell uh, growing or the cell is enlarging in size okay uh, you can get the production of new organelles okay um, and um, that's that's pretty much it all right so just two examples of processes taking part in stage A okay the uh, two processes I've decided on are protein synthesis and DNA replication uh, that's the end um, of uh, the second question uh, I think we can have a, a quick look at the mark scheme for this question just briefly uh, you can see there um, part A the answer straightforward part B1 metaphase uh, the examiner is emphasizing that you need both uh, chromosomes on the equator with chromatids either side okay and anaphase four V or U shaped uh, centrum um, chromatids with the centromere pointing towards the centrioles which uh, I drew out for you and there's some examples of um, processes that occur during um, interphase uh, we could have had synthesis of ATP as well okay right and that's the end of question two